Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check your H index in Google Scholar. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, whether you're on an iPhone, Android, any other mobile phone, computer, it doesn't matter. What we'll do is we'll just open up a web browser here and you're gonna to go to scholar.google.com. So I'm gonna type in scholar.google.com and hit go. The first thing at the very top right is you need to make sure that you're logged into your specific Google account that's associated with all of your publications. So this might be your university email address, your organization, whatever institution, government agency, anything like that. Now that you make sure that you're logged in, we'll tap the three lines at the top left. And you're gonna tap on my profile here. Now you'll see here, Trevor Nace, me, unknown affiliation. And of course, at the very top, you can fill in all these affiliations to fill out your Google Scholar. But if you just want your H index, you can hit this right next to articles. It says cited by, I can tap on it. And you'll see citations, 256, H index is seven, and the I10 index, which is another index that Google Scholar tracks, is five. So you'll be able to see basically as you go through the various years, various ones, citations, whether they're low or high in some years, and then it shows you all and since 2019. So this gives you a capture and a picture of all of your citations, all of your publications that Google Scholar has. Now keep in mind, you can at the very top left, tap on those three lines here, and then you can go into my library, if this loads on me, and see if it'll load. It might take a while to load for some reason. Hmm, for some reason that that's not. Let's go back to my profile. Here we go. Anyway, if you just are in here, you can always find and add any of these publications to your specific um, profile here so that you can boost that H index to be a bit higher. So on here, if you don't see any publications that you did have, you can always just add them directly on here. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.